What's up everyone, Arctic here, and today I'm bringing you guys my very first Marvel Heroes Tips and Tactics video. This is on the uh, hybrid build, Range Melee for Thor, who I've kind of had on ice for a while, waiting on some patches and fixes, and I wanted him to be my very first video. But I have a lot of characters around level 40, uh, Thor is now my highest at level 50, and uh, we're taking a look at my power uh, tree, skill tree, without any equipment on. I have a lot of emphasis there on God Blast because I wanted to test it. Uh, Definitely need some improvement. I'll probably retcon and reallocate those points somewhere else. But I'm probably going to keep my action bar uh, the same if you guys can see that. I'm sure you guys can. And I'll explain that during the gameplay. Now, equipment-wise, uh, for the helmet, I have uh, that on for the crit and the cosmic damage pretty much. Probably could replace that with something better. Boots could replace just for defense. Haven't seen anything. Cape I have for the spirit cost for God of Thunder and then the Mortal Kombat at rank 8. Or six, I'm sorry. Uh, looking to improve that. The armor I have for the power duration could definitely improve it. Uh, hammer now. The hammer, I, don't, I probably won't switch that unless I find anything different. But I have that 10% invulnerability pop uh, for four seconds. So uh, I need that for the for the survivability. Now artifacts and costume. Artifacts are pretty much standard. Edge of Infinity, Juggernaut. Uh, and then I have Wicked Wand of Watum, which I could probably replace for something else, but it has 22% chance to go invulnerable after an enemy is defeated. So if there's a lot of trash mobs around, you kill something, you're fighting a boss or whatever, uh, for, for let's say, uh, uh, Midtown Manhattan, then, you know, you could pop that. So it's very good in that case. Now, my, uh, costume itself, I went all offense. I do have lifesteal, 4% of the damage that I deal is converted into health. Uh, very good against bosses when I'm sitting there trying to uh, survive against some of the ones that can do, do some damage to me. I get rid of absolutely all trash mobs really quickly. Uh, God Blast, uh, you can kind of thank for that. You guys are going to see here uh, very quickly that uh, when the odds are against me, I can I can really do, do a lot of damage very quickly. Now, I also have Godly Valor because I uh, am a spirit... I think Thor in general is just a spirit mongrel. Like, he just eats spirits. So having Godly Valor on when there's a lot of mobs around him comes in handy quite a bit. Now, here's a case where I, I come really close. You guys are going to see my invulnerability pop a whole lot. Uh, so I can kind of stand in using that God Blast uh, to get rid of a lot of trash mobs. It's not that way how it's supposed to be really depicted, in, at least in the comments. It's, it's supposed to be like a single target type of ability, and at least from what I've seen. Uh, that really does a lot of damage to single targets. So I think Gazillion needs to probably revamp God Blast. Um, like I said, it's good for trash mobs and it does well um, even with all the points not allocated there. So I, I really don't know what they need to do to kind of uh, maybe make it a, a channeled beam or something. But uh, I, I feel like it's kind of wasted uh, in the current form but it's, it's good for trash mobs i can say that at the very least you guys see i'm just wrecking house here there's a lot of godly valor being used there a lot of god blast uh btt and then i'm using ad asgardian frenzy and going in there for melees and uh i have thundering strike on my uh, basic attack so i'm getting that uh, life steal from the physical damage through thundering strike so um, I, I also have, a, I think, one battle against uh, the Mega Sentinels, which uh, the reason I wanted to show this is because there's been several times now where I have been around some of the other melee characters, Wolverine, Colossus, Hulk, and they are getting dropped all around me. And it, a lot of this is because of my equipment, but uh, I, I just want to show that you can actually stand in, not take a whole lot of damage, even from the Mega Sentinel. Uh, there have been times when I pop my my uh, health for the uh, the costume core and vulnerability for two seconds, and then I have an Asgardian Frenzy on and the four percent life steal, and I can literally tank the um, the Mega Sentinel and his wickedly fast stomp uh, without too much of a worry. Uh, whereas you know I'll see a lot of other guys having to back away. Um, and, and I'm playing this one a little cautious, but uh, you guys are gonna see I'm not gonna take any damage uh, for a little while, uh, just because of where I'm positioned at right now. And it's just like they can't do anything to me. Uh, so there's the cosmic energy going off when I'm t getting hit. Uh, I'm not really taking any damage to 
uh, the stomps, but uh, uh, this is just something that I've, I've noticed that uh, a lot of other melee characters really don't like the Mega Sentinels. Um, and when they pop because they're so hard to uh, stand against if you're a melee character. But if you put on a lot of invulnerability, uh, particularly I think Thor needs it, then you can you can sit in and do a lot of damage with Thundering Strike and Asgardian Frenzy. So um, I have at the end of this video, I have some additional um, gameplay from uh, Midtown Manhattan against some of the bosses you guys can see uh, who I have trouble with. Typically Rhino, uh, when he's in a big cluster of people and he's doing his charge he'll one hit me uh bullseye sometimes i have trouble with bullseye i did include uh, death to him uh just because he can burst you so quickly if you're trying to stand in and if there's four um guys around he can kind of get a kill every once in a while but other than that I, I really haven't had too much trouble doing anything handling anyone uh based on this current build so hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward to doing more peace Don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos on my channel and check out some of my previous videos.